So for the past month or so, I've been seeing a lot of videos recommended to me about Mario games. Certain games where you end up playing through the whole game and you're constricted to what you're allowed to do. So for example, you have these videos like, can you complete Mario without getting a coin? Can you do it without jumping? Can you complete a blindfolded? Can you do it without seeing the game at all? Like this is some pretty intense stuff. And because of this, I've decided What's the most important thing to do to complete Skate 3? And that would be ollieing, or flip tricks. Flip tricks are really essential to Skate 3. It's the whole purpose around it. The joystick is practically the number one thing you use to play this game. So removing it sounds pretty insane. So, I've decided, why not not use it? And see if you can complete the game. And based on completing the game, we're gonna use the rules of speedrun.com. Go to the website, and under the any percent, it just means get a million board sales. So, can I get a million board sales without using any flip tricks? I know it says Ollie in the title, but that's for clickbait reasons. Okay, don't, don't, don't pressure me. So before I get into this, I'm going to set some rules. Rules being I can do late flips. That's a trick, but it doesn't count as a flip trick within the game itself. Finger flips are an okay. To do grinds, I obviously can't do a flip trick or an Ollie. So I would jump off my board and grind onto it, or if not, I would use a bean plant, foot plant, whatever. So I will allow those things. So to make up for the loss of height that I can't use, I will make up with speed, meaning that I'll allow myself speed glitches to make it just a little bit easier myself. So with those rules stated, Here let's go. <laughs> okay, Mario, I'm done using you as an example. Please go away. So obviously the first thing that happens when you load into the game, you get put into skate school. But we don't need to go through the training sessions. We already know how to play the game. If you didn't learn here, you didn't learn how to skate. Shut up, Coach Frank. I didn't ask you. Bitch. Alright, I'm gonna give you a little tour. Follow me. So once out of skate school, you're allowed to roam around, but you're immediately put in a follow mission. And this one's pretty straightforward. And you can just go straight there, and there's really nothing to worry about. So here is where we face our first obstacle. It wants us to do a oh trick. My oh my god, that's so horrible. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna late flip the thing. So you crushed it right there. Next up is a little trickless thing to do. So it wants me to trick off the first ledge. So let me just try late flipping it. Not happening, all right? I guess it's foot planting it is. To an easy late flip, ha <laughs> ha. And then, off the board, jump, and onto a grind. Simple as that. No flip tricks used, no ollies. It's clear. Yo, owned it! Now it's part of the object training session. Okay to teach you how to use the skate parks within the game. Really f straightforward. The only issue I had was clearing it. Having too much speed obviously didn't allow you to clear it. You had to do some sort of trick over it. And obviously alling isn't a good option. So I had to bean plant over it. Same thing for the next challenge. Once I was out of the stadium, it's time for our first photo, and I'm switching it up with a finger flip. Haha! <laughs> oh, perfect. We're done. That was it. The following photo mission is a mission where they want you to grind, which means you have to ollie. But if you know to kill it, you just have to manual it. So, using speedrun tactics, I just manualed right next to the thing and it counted. After that challenge, we reached our first milestone, and practically we're on to just any challenge that we can find next. But first, since we got our first skate team member, it's just place down a marker and just do a manual. Simple as that. So now that we have a lot of available challenges, let's do the easiest thing, which is Death Race. You can easily do it without an ollie, right? Wait, 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 sh hey, hey, hey. I had a habit. Alright, the challenge isn't over. So, with anyone that is actually familiar with Skate 3, you'd know that death races are the easiest thing to do. You don't even have to go through the checkpoints, you don't even have to do anything, really. It's just, first one to the finish line wins. And as long as you get there, you've pretty much killed it. 
and doing whatever shortcuts, whatever necessary, is fine. I went and did all the death races and completed them all without doing an ollie, because it's pretty much just going down a hill. The only thing that got me was this fucking death race with my teammate, which I lost, because he didn't come first, or before me. Not once, but twice. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> However, third time is the charm, and I was able to complete all the death races without any issues. Fuck you, CPUs. During the process, we reached our second milestone and acquired our second skater. With the abundance of multiple challenges that we can do across the whole world, what is the number one thing you could do without having to actually use any flip tricks. That's right, Hall of Me. Basically, it's just throw yourself off a tower simulator. There is literally no issue without having to use your right stick to flick off or anything. You just fucking fall. You break your bones. It's the easiest thing to do. That's the number one thing you do in Skate 3 when you first get the game if you've never played a skate before. You get high points and you think you're the best. When in reality, you get people who get a million points and all of a sudden you're just irrelevant and you stop playing the game. I did, however, find that this challenge was really interesting that you didn't really have to go through the actual tower itself. Just kinda nick a barrel and make it past the line and you win. It's kinda sad. Multiple bones broken later, sprained ribs and abs, you know, all the same. We have board sales. Continuing this journey of not using my right stick at all in order to complete missions that are totally pointless to this fucking video because I don't know why I made this. Anyways, um, if you ever watched my video of killing all own the spots without any tricks, then you know that this is entirely possible without any tricks. But since I'm allowed to actually do tricks like finger flips and late flips, I have actually did and owned all the spots. It was kind of hard to remember exactly where each spot was. My memory of this game is not as great when I have to find the spots for myself. It was a hard time trying to figure out where each of these spots were with having to fast travel everywhere. And I'm not sure if I even hit every spot completely. I might have missed one, but it doesn't matter. I got the board sales. I own the spots. The only issue was that I totally forgot roadblocks was a thing. And I did that as the last challenge, because who actually plays there online? Because I'm bas basing this all off my memory from online playing with other people. Where, who have hit records of which places, and have I gone there? So, that's as much as it's going to get. Also, in the time doing this, I got the next member of our skate crew. The next group of challenges I decided to take up were the photos which were surprisingly possible considering that you, know, you would think they would want to make you do a flip trick, but in actuality they just want you to do a certain thing. And it was completely avoidable just by doing late flips and foot plants. Although I did set a standard for myself that if I didn't have to do any tricks, I would just try to do it. If I had to do a late flip, I guess I had to do a late flip. If I had to get air somehow, I would try to jump off my board before doing the foot plants. But either way, it all worked out. I had the little ladder to go through. I did speed glitches along the way. I practically cheated, because glitches. But it still worked, because, you know, <laughs> didn't do an ollie whatsoever. The only issue I had was this one challenge, which I thought was impossible, but if you guys didn't know that this challenge at the park and play, you actually have a ramp that you can put there. It only spawns there during the challenge. If you place a different ramp there, it will disappear. But there is a glitch to make other ramps appear, but I don't know I don't know how to do that. Although I did have troubles going through it, and stuff like this happens. I did manage to make it, but there was only one challenge I could not complete. 
I don't know, as many times as I tried, I guess I couldn't get enough speed, and I tried the ramp thing. I don't know the glitch. So, decided to skip it, and got a new character. My luck for the game continues. This game does not want you to do any specific trick types, so I am still allowed to do everything I just did during the photo challenges. Just that some of them were more difficult than the others. Especially the pawn jumping one. That took fucking forever. I don't want to do that again. But luckily, I managed to find loopholes around how to get to places and how to do some tricks without flip tricking, of course. And this time, I was actually able to do every video challenge. No video challenge was left undone, unlike the photo challenge. Because fuck that photo challenge, even though I could clearly ollie. But I'm not gonna, because that's part of the video. So fuck you. So anyways, we do end up completing all these. And next, we go on to the team challenges. I am literally fast forwarding this section because it's literally nothing. They want me to do is just place down a camera and take a photo. Not even do a trick. That's just the photo part. Wait till you get to the film part where they actually do want you to do a trick. And all I did was just do repetitive manuals. This was the easiest thing that you could ever do. Screw fucking throwing yourself off the tower simulator. This is literally it. This will put you to sleep. If you have trouble falling asleep, do these challenges. It will knock you out. No issue. It's a good thing I was listening to a podcast this whole time. Otherwise, I'd be fucking bored and probably want to eat food. Because that's what I do when I'm bored. I eat food. Got a problem? Anyways, it's a joke. On to Goofy versus Regular. To be honest, when I started this challenge, I just kept on doing team challenges, and this contest ended up being under the team challenge, and I kind of freaked out. I was unsure if I was able to do it, but through the power of foot plants and flipping, I was able to actually complete this challenge, which gave me a lot of confidence when I started to go into the tranny contests, which were practically all the same. When I mean all the same, I meant all the fucking same. Whether it came to a best trick or a jam session, it practically was just pump to get speed and do a flip trick. It really wasn't that hard. And when I meant doing a flip trick, I just meant actually flipping your body. Because, you know, more points. It's practically just rinse, wash, and repeat. Maybe add a grind. You know, it's whatever. And... When I got to the Maloof Money Cup, it practically was all over. All I had to do was probably do just one more challenge. Because if you look, that there really isn't much board sales to do. And I'm already at 1 million. And what better way to end this video and this pointless fucking series, since it was such a breeze, than to compete at Mega Park. It's so fucking easy. Why did I even think this was a challenge? Maybe I just wanted an upload. It, too, it just was too easy, like, you could do it in your sleep if you wanted to. Like, look, a million po- What? Not a million? Okay, fine, one more tranny contest, since this was the secret tranny contest after Mega Park. Really? After Mega Park? Whatever. I completed the challenge, I got the million board sales, I locked Monster Jam, and do we even have to do Monster Jam? Do we? I, I, I guess we should, you know, just to- Put a cherry on top of a useless cake. The first round of Monster Jam, obviously another joke. Just do a tail walk. <laughs> like, is there anything else? Second round, just like your typical tranny contest, just start doing backflips and shit. And then for the third round, I literally just ran off the ramp and started doing late flip 360s and got to like 55k. And with that, we won. And now if we check the menu, one million! And with that, I can end the video here. There is no need to look any further whatso- Yeah, I have to look at the stats, don't I? So if we look at the stats, it has the personal records, and it says for total flip tricks is... Zero. No, that's not a six. You're not looking at a six, please. Yeah, it's a zero. Just, your, your eyes are broken. It's a zero, okay? Okay? Okay, no, yeah, 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 you're right. Remember when I did that ollie in the beginning? 
I might have done that multiple times out of habit. So, yeah. But I didn't do any all year flip tricks during the challenges, which was the main goal. So, either way, if you look at my time, I most likely came in 8th place on the any percent leaderboards. Bye!